Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. We're still playing as Abby. We're still playing in the past, technically, uh, together with Mel and Manny and Alice, the dog, who is uh, who are behind that gate. But the crank broke, so now we need to find another way up here. So there's a hatch above the gate, here we go. and that's what we're trying to reach at the moment. So we're putting. For some reason, we're boosting the pregnant woman up this thing. She seems so fine idea? with all of that. Um, one sec. One sec. What are you doing? Getting us out of here? Okay, just go slow. I mean... One advantage of being pregnant. Low center of gravity. Good point. I'll take your word for it. Well, the the... The bad thing about prequels like this is, of course, we know, we know for a fact that nothing's going to happen to Mel. Uh, we know for a fact there's nothing going to happen to the dog and to us, because we survive all of this. So I'm wondering what we're trying to prove with this section. So now I think we can actually go up here. Thank you. Um, Manny, however, is not that safe because we haven't seen Manny in all of Ali's travels. We've killed Mel. That is something that happened, but Manny we've never hey, seen. Getting closer to the hatch. Um, yeah, so there's a ladder over here. We probably, I know where the latch is, game, please. The game is sometimes a bit too uh, overt with its uh, hint system, because I know we've seen the latch, that's fine. Um, let's place that over here. Straight through the boat. Hey, smart. And now we have a rope. But, you can also go inside of the boat. Definitely checking this place out. Ooh. Mm, this will come in handy. That's another training manual. David versus Goliath. Um, let's put that away. And now we have the Covert Ops Upgrade Branch. So craft shifts, craft two shifts. Ah, there we have the shifts again. Which allow for instant stealth kills against most enemies. They can also be used to break free when grabbed by a clicker. Okay, so basically Abby is Joel, which is very, very weird. I feel like they've done that on purpose to give uh, Abby Joel's abilities and Joel's physique even buffer than, uh, than Joel. But I said it before, she moves like Joel does. She fights like Joel does. And I feel that that's, like that's an interesting... Um, physical transformation for Abby because basically, basically she she tried to be become Joel um, just to be able to kill him, which is well very creepy in its own right. Um, okay, so the game just blatantly told me to throw it over the catwalk, but okay, that's promising. It, it is. Okay, so now I can move the. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. So now we can move the ladder to the other side of the boat, reach to over there, and then grab the rope from there. So yeah, there we go. So we can do this. Nice. Walk over here. And then jump. And get on top of the catwalk that way. I felt like the rope was shorter than that, because if I threw it over there, it didn't even go all the way over. But here, that didn't seem to be a problem. Long way down. Okay, why are you? Really hard. Especially when I look down. So that's actually interesting. We saw that at the very beginning as well. That Abby is afraid of heights, which kind of makes it a little bit more human, I suppose, with real fears. Although we already know that she has real fears. I mean, her father was murdered. Manny, get right down. Okay. Look, Bob, sweet Bob. Almost there. Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof first? <laughs> Please. Okay. It's kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Oh, please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. Be too freaked out about fucking it up. Oh, you think I don't feel the same way? <laughs> oh, for what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. He did? He always said he was an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Okay. That was a 
<laughs> a bit of a weird compliment, but fair enough. So Mel, that actually makes sense if, if uh, Jerry was the only doctor in the WLF or the Alice. more experienced doctor, then uh, he would be the one to teach everybody else as well. There we go. Hello, Alice. It is so sad to know that the dog dies. I like it. Oh, we're almost to the fob. I also don't like it. Home. I'm gonna find a couch, watch a movie, and drink until I pass out. Okay, Manny. Oh yeah, which drink? Which movie? <laughs> Strong questions. Movies, the one with, ¿Cómo se llama? The girl who writes the wall. Oh, I love that one. And drink. My mezcal from the party last week. Excuse me, you mean our mezcal? Uh, say, say, say. I'll save some for you. Oh, I could definitely go for a drink right now. If I wasn't so pregnant. <laughs> and on the run. And on the run, indeed, from murderous psychopaths. So, there is this trailer over here. Every time there's a locked door, I feel like there should be, aha, there we go, a way to go in. Can I just smack that? No. Smack that all on the floor and through the window. There we go. Nothing's hidden for me. Probably missed like 25 collectibles up until now, but... Marta, okay, with the truth dead, uh, it's too risky to keep us keep using this place for meetups. Scars are going to be swarming all over this area like roaches. I went ahead and cleaned up my supplies already, but I left all your guns in the lockup in case you need them when you arrive. Figure the scars won't touch them since the safe is too old world for them. Dumb freaks. See you soon. Be careful, Paul. Yes, yeah, still using the big win as the combination. The big win. Okay. Guess we'll have to find a look around for that. And we have a coin. That's always nice. Indiana. Uh, and then let's go look for this big win. Aha! This is probably the big win. So 08, 15, 12. So the big fish that they uh, they called. Um, 08, 15, 12. Okay. But I haven't seen the safe just yet. So I'm guessing that's going to be somewhere else. <laughs> And there are a few buildings here that we haven't checked out just yet. So there's this thing. The soft drink corporation thing. Yeah, there might be a gun cache around here. Ah, there we go. I like the sound of that. And again, a locked door. So we're going to have to find another way around. Um, aha, there we go. It's a small crack in the wall. But, of course, we need to be careful that they aren't any infected over here but the safe is right over here so that means 8 15 12 so that's oh no that's wrong uh the big win damn it wait a second then i'll have to check that again um i'm gonna grab the other supplies for now but i'm definitely gonna solve this and we also find a better melee weapon there's a, a pipe wrench over here but let's go check that trailer again. So there's of course the weight of the blue marlin as well. But that's 510. Is there another one here that might be bigger maybe? Ah, the big win on the lotto uh, thing over here. The uh, Terra Lotto. So 173807 that's going to be then. I should have... You know what? <laughs> so... Let's check that again. 173807. I should just open up the door, right? There we go. Ah, uh, that's it. That actually worked, that actually worked indeed. We and we get a new gun. <laughs> I like all of this. What the hell is this thing supposed to be? Is that like a very, uh, yeah, a hunting pistol? So probably a high powered pistol with the full two ammo for it. That's okay. Fair enough. I suppose. Um, and that's about it. So let's just go out the front door again and get on our way. Guys, down this way. There we go. Okay, we'll follow the tracks. That'll get us back on the main road to the fob. I don't like this. I know. Keep your eyes open. Any way over that wall? Not that I can see. We're gonna have to find a way over the wall. Shh. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So, are they coming from over here then? Yeah, there they are. Okay, there's a pipe here as well. So if I want a melee fight, I actually can. But the tall grass is over here. And they seem to be... Yeah, so there's definitely two over there. Ah, crap. Okay. Ah, crap. And then there's one on the sides. Yeah, that didn't work out great. There we go. And then get over here. So there's one over there. In there! Oh! Wait, what? What the fuck just happened? There we go. There's one on the side stair, but I'm guessing there's another one. Okay, I'm going underneath. I don't think she spotted me just yet. Where'd they go? Can I actually That's heal up underneath here? Yeah, I can. Can heal up underneath. And there's two of them over here, and there's one of them in the back. Oh no, there's even more. Holy crap. Okay. There we go. She's got me! Oh, what the? Move up! So I think there was a pipe over here or a hatchet. There we go. Ow! There we go. Um, in the stomach. I think they killed another one over there. There we go. The hunting pistol is actually one hit kill, which is interesting. Um, I should probably swap over to the pistol again. And I have five bombs. So if I can see where he is... There we go. She steers me. Boom! <laughs> okay. Was that the final one? I think it was. They're standing up again. Whew. That was a hefty fight. I uh, should probably heal up as much as I can with some food. There we go. That at least saves me a health kit. I think I can actually craft another one. There doesn't seem to be any Molotovs over here, so that is fine. I craft another one of those pipe bombs. They actually do use three types of resources, which is fine. Can I actually upgrade the melee weapon as well? I could, but I still have three strikes in it. So I might as well save it up. Um, this guy just... Wow! Wait, what? Are you saying there's still one alive? I think I saw somebody move in the back there that wasn't Mal or Alice. Just gonna check the uh, containers while we're at it. No, it is actually Mal. Okay, fair enough. No need to worry then. Okay, that seems to be it. I haven't really found... Uh, well, I found a, a few bullets, which is good. But that was a huge firefight, by the way. I think there were about six or seven enemies in that one area. That was uh, hefty. So let's find a way to get across the wall. Um, the weakest point is probably going to be if we can find a hole or something like that. Although I don't really see anything like that really close by. And I think I've checked all the containers. Yeah, this is... Top half, man. And we're gonna go into the... Yeah, there's definitely more. Okay. Okay. So there's at least two more. So let's slowly advance to see if we can get the drop of them this time. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> No. 
I'm behind the tree. They're not seeing me. Okay, so now we can actually move up here. What? I'm gonna throw... There we go. You can actually do a jumping attack. That's interesting. Um, did that actually attract any more scars to this location? Oh, shit. That it? I don't see any more. Okay. They're on me. Let's go. That was actually pretty cool. I didn't know. I, I just wanted to try that. If you can actually do a jumping attack on an enemy, and that actually works. Shit, it's a dead end. You don't get a prompt or anything, but if you way. jump and then press square, I don't even know if you need to press square, but that was really, really cool. Uh, so this one didn't drop anything. There's this little bit with the pipes. Um, but other than that, I don't see a way for them to hide stuff up here. So I think we just need to go up on top of the container. Yeah, I know, Mel. So I am going to actually work with the pistol for now. Because the hunting pistol is really cool, but it actually does um, spend probably very valuable ammo. Because it can kill scars in one hit, regardless where I hit them, they died. Which is a very cool reward for a safe, uh, for unlocking a safe. But this is probably gonna initiate hell. Through here. Because that wasn't really silent now, was it? Um, there we go. Boom! Let's do that. That's two dead. And that's another dead. There are. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, come on. Wow, I just missed, missed every single shot. Um. There we go. There we go. Nah, but wait, wait, I need healing. Come on, let's go before more of those freaks show up. No, no, I need healing. I love you guys. I'm gonna name all my children after you. Yeah, that was awesome, but um, I need on, some healing. I need some healing. Yes, I'm gonna scavenge. Glad you guys were around. Lucky we drove by. Heard all the shooting. Yeah, I ran out of ammo on the pistol, but not on everything else. So that first bomb was a fun one, though. Uh, okay, call it. So let's let's go into the truck. You okay? Yes. Got you. He got shot in the hand. Okay, let me see your hand. We're in. She wasn't really doing doing anything with that hand, but she's just holding it. We still have some bandages if we need to. Okay. Good introduction to the rest of the crew, I suppose. But other than that, this trip seems a, a bit superfluous. It didn't really bring anything to the story. Aside from the fact that we got an introduction to the WLF base, but... No. What? Look back. Squeeze this as hard as you can, okay? Two. Okay, he's got a gunshot wound to the hand. Yeah, that's. I think that's kind of obvious, Mel. Hey, you did all right back there. It was almost a compliment. 
Almost. I'll get help. Stay, Alice. Come on, it's this way. Sit. That was a lot of blood, right? She shouldn't be out. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Okay, so that's how Mel got separated from us and joined in with Owen, probably. But now that we're alone with uh, with hey, Manny, what you got here. Hey, come on, girl. That's not gonna end well, is this it? Is Alice. Uh, come on, Alice. Good girl. Thank you. These new recruits, I don't trust them. Especially with the Thanks dog. Again, guys. That is our hey. doggo. Um, do we need to do anything? So Manny's leaving us, which means that we're... I mean, he said... No, wait. Why did we say see ya to Manny if we're going to follow him? That, are we just saying see ya to those guys? Bye, guys. I suppose so. So, through the checkpoint. Don't know if we need to uh, sign some documents or... Uh, is this bureaucracy? Yeah, there we go. We need to sign in. Checking in. Hey, you two. What you got for us? No assignment. Just says report to Isaac. Both of us? Yeah. Okay, this is more interesting. Never been this busy here. Finally gonna meet so the big guy. You better find Isaac. We should make sure Mel's okay first. Wow, there are a lot of people here. I don't know any of these people. You? Um, no. So those are all new recruits, I suppose. Although... How are they recruiting? Oh, I'm gonna say hi to Alice. Hello, Alice. Hey, Alice. Hang on, girl. We're gonna get you out of here soon. Yeah, you don't need to be here. Oh, that is sad, those big cages. She was really, really sad in that cage. Okay. So, yeah. Definitely a lot of people around here. So, let's move up. I follow up with Manny. There is a workbench over here. And, more importantly, there's also crafting materials here. Hey, man. Abby, heard someone had to save your ass for once. Yeah, I mean, one time. There we go. We can grab all the supplies from this area over here. From the armory, which finally makes sense. We can actually grab ammo right near ammo casings. That is, that is really cool. Okay, so now we can upgrade these things. I think the hunting pistol... The hunting pistol has a damage upgrade. That is interesting. Um, other than that... I could reduce the recoil on the pistol. Because I missed all of its shots before... <laughs> before that, so... I don't know, it's probably not because of that, just because I sucked. But there we go, the recoil upgrade on the pistol. Let's put a... Muzzle flash, a flash muzzle. Or whatever it's called on there. So that's that's what's it called again? Muzzle flash? A compensator. Never mind. It's a muzzle flash. Hey Abby. Some nice work you put in there. Thanks. Thank you, man. Um you seen Isaac anywhere? <laughs> nah. With all this commotion, I'd be hiding too. Okay, so we grab the supplies we could get from over Abby, there. Then there's this woman. Yeah? Heard about your ambush. Where'd they hit you? Uh, right around here. Near the warehouses. Oh, shit. They keep slipping past our lines. Hey, you know where Isaac is? Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, thanks. We'll look around. I mean, it is cool to see this other side of the, um... The WLF. Giving us a, a, a peek behind the curtain. Um... Which, this is gonna be a quite literal peek behind the curtain. Let's say hi to Mel, I suppose. It's being patched up. Looks pretty bad, huh, Doc? So there are a few doctors here. They're probably just for wounds and stuff like that. No, no complete medical professionals. Hey, man. Feeling better? Uh, pain meds are kicking in, so... Yeah. Hang in there. How's the hand? Uh, there is alcohol over here, but we can talk to Mel here, I'm assuming, as well. Or not. Wait. Where is... 
Where is Mel? Mel is nowhere to be seen here. That is weird. Where did she go? So we can go out to the sides here. Through another... Here. Ah, there we go. Could have been much worse though. Speak of the devil. Aha, uh -huh, there we have Nora. How you doing, Melon? Just a few more stitches. And I'll uh, Melon, I got it. You guys need to convince this girl to relax. Hey, Mel. Relax. You got it. Hey, um, I need some muscle, so can you two give me a hand or something? Sure. Don't move. I'll just be here. Relaxing. Put a needle in her in her uh, right. back. Have you had a chance to relax? I'm shipping out to the West Side Hospital in a few. Orders are to get everything. How's Mel? Really? Well, the baby's vitals were a little elevated, but I'm not worried. Someone should get word to Owen. He'll want to be here for her. Yeah. I need to show you guys something. What do you say? Follow me. Wow. Do we need to go? Oh God. Is that? Are these all ours? Yeah. And we're coming in by the hour. I'm assuming that's because of the scars, not the death count that Ellie created. Because if so, I kind of feel a bit guilty now. <laughs> Although Ali did contribute to that quite a bit. You can't tell now, all right? Laura. Just not yet. Why are you okay. showing us this? Okay. Who's in that body bag? Uh, Jordan, I suppose. Holy shit. It's Danny. Where's Owen? I don't know. A few days back, there were some scar sightings out by the marina. Danny and Owen were sent on a sweep. And this morning, the guards found Danny collapsed by the perimeter fence. He'd walked himself back with a bullet in his stomach. Pinches scars, hijos puta. Isaac talked with him until he passed, but as far as I can tell, there's no units going back that way. So what about Owen? Did you ask Isaac what happened? Yeah, I tried. But he gave me that, that fucking look, and then he told me to keep quiet about it. Which means you can't say shit. Owen's a big boy. I'm sure he's fine. Where is Isaac? I'll be discreet. Last I heard, he was um, in the apartments. Why is she wearing a broken mask, by the way? I'm gonna go check up on Mel, so. Because that doesn't seem usable anymore. Can you guys find out? Yeah. Because the straps are broken. Okay, so lots of bullies because of the scars. Why the hell hasn't Isaac sent out a search party for Owen? Maybe he has and just didn't tell Nora. I fucking hope so. I'm assuming not. Because that's exactly what this is going to be about. The fact that Owen just isn't worth the search party because of what you guys did on your own. We're looking for Isaac. He's inside. Go on in. Okay. Ooh, I'm really curious Damn, about this. Look who it is. What's up, fellas? You got time for a game? Uh, can't. Here for Isaac. Whatever, big shot. Not my fault. I'm so good at what I do. Aha, coin. See you around. There we go. Coin and trophy. Five coins. Yes. And we find a letter over here. Isaac, took three days, but I finally got something out of number 74. If what he's saying is true, sounds like the southern shore might be our best bet. I've marked up a map and left it in our your suite. We should send scouts to verify as soon as possible. I still feel like he might be holding out. Give me a few more days with him, Sergeant Foster. And we actually grabbed that letter. I always feel like it's weird in a public place like this that we just... Oh, 
cold. I don't miss this place. No. Fuck. Always hated the smell. What the smell of people getting Not tortured. I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. I hear that. Um, yeah, this isn't... And then she's wiping up the blood. Um, that's probably not Isaac either. Wow. These people are terrified. Okay. Hey, Abby. We need to go up. Isaac's in there. Oh. Do you know if he'll be long? So it again when you two arrive. Well. Okay. Ah, there was a closed off door there. I totally missed that. Sir, Abby and Manny are here. Okay, that's a naked man. That is definitely a naked Let him man. Fall asleep. Yes, sir. Let's go up. I heard you two ran into some trouble. No losses on our side, just some minor injuries. Can't say the same for them. Wish I was hearing more of that. Never seen the base this packed. Can give it another day. Still waiting on some units. What's going on, boss? These small skirmishes. Can't keep going like this. Then what? We could try another truce. How long before some asshole on their side or our side unravels the whole thing? No. It has to be all of them. Sir, we'll try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. It's a big storm a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. You two are going to lead the first wave. Pick your squads, start prepping. I want Owen. When are he and Danny getting back? Who talked, Nora? <laughs> He's not stupid. No secrets between the Salt Lake crew, huh? Is Owen okay? I know. Then, then why didn't you send a search party after him? He shot Danny. Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse me? That's not Owen. You got it wrong. You're saying Danny used his last breath to lie to me? Sir, people hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him They'll got him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about it. Let me go after him. I'll walk him back in. We'll get to the No. Bottom. You said yourself the storm's a few No. Days. We've only got one shot at this. And this is bigger than any of us. Definitely bigger than Owen. If he turns up, then fine. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll get to the bottom of it. I need you, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Good. Look over the plans and go through your roster. Grab some food. We'll talk later.
Owen was protecting some scar. Well, we heard about... There's that one big story about Jules and... No way Owen killed Danny over some scar, right? I think the name was Grey right. originally, and then they turned into Emmett when they joined I mean, the Seraphite. Don't. I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me till then. I said we'll kick your ass. Not before the assault. You heard him, he needs me. If Owen's out there, how the hell are you going to find him? I know where he'll go. Yep, the aquarium near the Ferris wheel. Stop it. Are we getting another... Wow, okay. We get another flashback. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> what? Seriously, stop it. <laughs> All right. Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then? It's great. It's best. Oh. <laughs> come on. We made it all the way up here just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yes. The deal was to get up here, so. Mm. All right, here's what's going to happen. You're going to get your ass over here. Sit on the edge. Or you can go down here on the kid seat and look at this view with me. We can't miss training. And she's afraid really? of heights, you dick. Not even just for one night. No. Do to talk about it? It's getting late. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Don't do not. It is too high. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You know, I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Owen, I'm serious. I will break up with you. Owen. I always love you. Don't! Owen! Okay. That was. That was really hard. Wow, I'm afraid of heights at the moment. Uh, here we go, Dad. Uh... Why hasn't he come up yet? You know he's not dead. He's just being an asshole. Abby! I'm down here, you asshole. You jumped? And I missed it? I thought you drowned. And you came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? I think you're gonna have to follow me to see it. Okay, I guess that's pretty cute. Fair enough, he's still an asshole though. Oh, and we have to go back. We will, once you see this. Owen! What are they gonna do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? Maybe. I don't want to find out. Just come see this thing. This place looks great, doesn't it? Take a deep breath. Okay. Do I have a flashlight? I don't. Okay. Okay. We're going up here. Ah, we're heading into the aquarium, I suppose. There we go. How the hell are those fish still alive? I don't know. You wanna keep going? Fuck yeah. Okay, how does this actually, okay, <laughs> wanted to see what that area exactly was, because that didn't really make sense. Um, oh, there's my uh, oxygen bar. They're all really, really sure that this will end well. This is crazy. I think it's like, 
One of those, uh, zoos, but for fish. Shut up. Yeah, it is. This is water pop out. It's an aquarium, but they the don't really day. know that. It's covered in spots. They don't have spots. They're brown. Those are sea lions. No. No, you don't know. I know what I saw with my eyes. He's actually right. But of course, this is... It's been 21 or 22 years after the infection, so that makes sense that they don't know what everything here is. The aquarium, what that's supposed to be. Uh, don't get an option to talk to Owen. Although he still seems to be standing over there for some reason. So let's just head up. And see what else is here. I'm wondering if we're going to get proof of the sea lion uh, seal discussion. <laughs> but, opening this up. Oh, what, dude? Hey, give me a hand with this. Yep. One, two, three. And put some weight into it. Oh, is this going to be the big arena for the, the dolphin place? shows? Probably. Well, clearly, this is some sort of theater, but for uh, fish. <laughs> are you a rooster? What? I'm a wolf. That's my wolf howl. You're an idiot. Yeah, but you love this idiot. So, I mean, what's that say about you? <laughs> okay. There's a lot to go around. If there's a coin up here, I'm show. gonna kill Naughty no, Dog. It looks like somebody turned this into a makeshift dock or something. Okay. So is this level with the the sea? Then I don't see how this sea. Uh, I don't see how this is going. Yeah. Okay. So there's a hole over there, and it just connects to the sea, to the ocean. But other than that. Oh, I'm just curious whether there's going to be a coin over here. If they hide a coin in between all those seeds... Um, there is a way up here, though, so if I go over here... Yeah, there's this... I don't know, is this supposed to be a camera? Yeah, for filming the, the show, probably. Okay, Owen. Let me check it out. We can maybe go in here. This boat actually looks like an exact replica of the one we... No, not an exact replica. It's actually a different boat than the one we just saw at the beginning of the episode in the dry dock. And there's like baby there's clothes. Kids clothes. Yeah. Bet a family came through. Look at these drawings. Okay, so I have control actually. Okay. I thought it was going to be another cutscene. It what kind of is. Maybe they joined the wolves. Yeah, or it got killed by scars. Such an optimist. Mm -hmm. The teeth are horrifying. But other than that, yeah. Do you want to talk about it, Owen? So he's defi he definitely wants kids, but I feel like maybe Abby wasn't up for that. Which is why their right. uh, relationship ended. You want to go see the rest of the fish zoo? Fish. Do you think there's fish more zoo. to see? Of course. Let's go. I actually want to what check. What are you doing? You're going to give me an animal show? Yep. Um, do I look like a spotted seal? It had spots. So I'm just going to check over here. Just in case Naughty Dog has hidden some stuff over here. Because I feel like they might have. Um, although I don't really see anything over here. So maybe I have to dive down. And there we go. Can I actually dive down? Nope, I can't dive down. Okay, fair enough. Let's just get out of here. So the only thing I haven't checked yet is like the filtration system over here. Or at least I think it's the filtration system. Might also be just a, a, a gas tank of some sort. So Owen is heading towards that camera. Aha, there is a window up there so he can push me. Over, or I can boost him over. Get me up there. Yep. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> up and over. I do have a gun, so yeah. they might oh, be okay. infected. <laughs> Holy shit. 
shit. Look at you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right. So, I mean, so this comes all back to it, of course. We take a quick look around and then... We head right back. They do contextualize her physique Except a lot. This is nothing, and you're gonna beg me to stay. Not happening. Just wait. So again, I don't get the controversy. She just here? trained for this for four years. No. Are connected to the ocean. Well, it's weird that the fish in the tanks would still be alive, because... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You don't see that every day. That is indeed a sight to behold. And there we have seals. Hey, Owen, no spots. Look at that. Well, the one I saw wasn't bronze either, so. Indeed, because of course this is just a, a bronze statue. Uh, we can go up there as well, but let's just go and talk to Owen first. It's a tank in the floor. Can you imagine this place filled with people? Kids laughing, running around. And my dad would love this place. Yeah. He loses his shit over it. Yeah. How are these fish still alive? They haven't been fed in like 22 years. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm claiming this place. It's mine. Okay. Um, I need to go over there. He's the CEO now of Fishtown. Owen, CEO of Fishtown. You can visit. Oh, you sure? Not really, actually. See how nice you are to me first. Oh, I'm gonna punch you. Mm, you're a dick. Not a great start. Just looking around a little bit, because I feel like there's definitely gonna be a coin hidden in this, uh, in this flashback as well. But... So there's a way up, and then we have the open ocean experience. That's probably where we're gonna head next. But more children's drawings. I think it's the same family from the boat. That'd be my guess, yeah. I don't think so, because the drawings there had those creepy feet. Ah, and there's a letter over here. Kids, if you find this, I want you to know that I don't blame you. Those seraphites are selling a good line. I understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it and sail away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. I couldn't find antibiotics. I want you both to know I love you. Ricky, keep watching out for Max. You owe him that. Dad. Damn. Okay. That was sad. So the children left their parents for the Seraphites. I'm quickly gonna check up here. That's good, yeah. Get them to break the rules, too. You don't think it's worth it? Let's see how much trouble we're in when we get back. Ha. Huh. You love it. <laughs> Shut up. So, could I get, like, a... Uh, Owen, you were right. Thanks for dragging me into this amazing place. I'll think about it. So the annoying thing about story-driven games is that they sometimes pull you into a sequence that you can't escape from. So, let's go into Max Place first. But it's locked. Wait, does that mean that there's a way in here? Because usually places like that have an alternate route in here. But maybe through the cafe upstairs then. Okay, let's check this out. The Stingray Cafe. It's actually pretty small. But this is where that family must have lived. Um, so if there's going to be a coin, it's going to be either in here or in oh God. Max's place. Okay. So that's probably the father who was left all alone here. We don't know what happened to the mother just yet. Because there definitely was a mother as well. You can read the note in a minute, but I have a feeling that that will kick off the rest of the story here. Wow, the frame rate is actually... Taking a dive here, so there's another note down here. But that has the magnifying glass on it. So let's just check this first. This seems like a normal note. I think this is our boat, Captain. Shit. Dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside this rotting building. 
All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. When the soldiers killed mom, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? You should have gotten angry. You should have made them hurt worse than they hurt her. I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want, when they're willing to make something of their life. The world is harsh. It's up to us to change it. Only when weak may I carry my true strength. Maybe we'll come back someday. If we do, I hope you're not still sitting in your stupid fucking chair. And then the scar symbol at the bottom. His kids are enough to join the scars. Jeez. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, the family's keys. Uh, what is wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. <sighs> I just don't understand how anybody willingly joins the Scars. Well, why not? Y you because do. Because they're an insane cult. That's why. Well, in the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, all right. I mean, Abby, did you just miss the entire part of his wife being shot by soldiers? And in this case, probably WLF soldiers. That is why they joined the Scars. You, you clearly missed... Why would you just ignore that? It was stated blatantly in the letter. Why they joined the Seraphites. Oh wow, that's a bloody letter. It's honorable that you respect your father, but you have to see he's trying to control you. To make you feel like you're still a child because he's too afraid to act like a man. You deserve to be surrounded by a community that can foster a strong spirit like yours. Max, even more so. He's so impressionable. If you care about your brother, you'll get him out of there before he takes on your father's weaknesses. We'll be passing by your aquarium again in five days. If you want to join us, light a torch along the dock and we'll pull in nearby. May she guide you. So that was the recruitment letter. Which uh, made everything clear. Okay, so they were basically lured in by the Seraphites. But the problem is that, hey, don't be as weak as your father. So now we have the keys to Max's place downstairs. Which is supposed to be the open sea or the open ocean experience. So I'm really curious how that will look like. Because these uh, whales were a nice touch as well. But the frame rate doesn't really like this this area for some reason. So, Wanna Max's place. Keys? Oh, yeah. This one? Nope. I'm out. Got it. Damn. Painting this must have taken forever. Yeah, I wonder where you got the paint. I know we saw the paint in the the house upstairs, but Ooh, is this a yes. It actually moves. It's a nice touch. I do love those little things that are interactive like that. Um, no coin behind the desk, though. Don't tell me you want to go down there. Come on. Owen. Last thing. I promise. Last thing. Just, uh, don't look down. Oh, just go. <laughs> You're good. Owen is a real dick. I mean, you know she has vertigo. Don't, don't fucking do something like that. Fears are real. Oh no no, Abby, Abby, you're down. Just get off the ladder. Thank you, thank you. Jesus. I'd love to meet this kid. I mean, he's a scar. Maybe you have. Ah, Jesus. I sure hope not. So that probably means that Owen did meet Max. Get on in here. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Although I don't see this working for bigger yeah. audiences because there's only one way in. And there's the seals! See that? Told you they were spotted. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
me slow down? No. Is it this? It's this, isn't it? You are disgusted by it. <laughs> Come on, Ab. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Talk to me. I know all the leads have dried up, but the Joel's still out there, you know? I know. What can I do? Let's go back. We can still make training. seals for a little while yeah he did this for you Abby but all she cares about is revenge I'm sorry I told you already don't be sorry Wow. Well, that was the saddest thing so far. Yeah, I said it. That was the saddest Where thing so far. Somewhere else. He's there. Let's get off the roof before someone sees us. That was really nicely done. I do also I like, like the this. touch that her braid no. gets longer and longer. We don't know what happened. I gotta find him. I mean, if you really killed Danny... Fuck Danny. I'm jealous Owen got to shoot him before I did. Whoa, Abby. <laughs> okay. So, with that done, and with that view, god damn, I'm gonna take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, another look in Abby's history. And when we get back, we're gonna continue doing just that. So, this is, by the way, probably day two in Seattle. So, we're getting closer to the eventual confrontation with Ali, but uh, I think this day might end with us finding the corpses of Owen and Mel. But we'll have to see about that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye.